After my recent God Herds of Lore video, I've seen a lot of interest for the mod on my channel. So I wanted to make one of those videos, you know, the ones where I talk about some starts that I recommend that could be interesting for first time players or maybe even returning players that maybe you hadn't considered in the past. And you know, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna make this intro too long. So we're just gonna jump into this. The first character I'm gonna recommend is Nick and the Black Sun. Uh, he's probably, I would easily consider the poster child for God Herja. You've probably seen him before. Basically, He's the son of this guy, Iolden, who was a warlord uh, who held together a small little kingdom after the fall of the Adversarian Empire, or during the fall of the Adversarian Empire. His dad was slain by this guy, Senwar, and then Nicononius and Senwar have basically battled each other for years at this point. Nicononius is also the only person in lore who has actually defeated Senwar in battle, which is a huge feat considering this guy's like the second coming of Jesus and Charlemagne wrapped into one. Uh, Nicononius is also has a latent magic, which is cool because you can make him into a really strong mag uh, like magi if you wanted to, and he could pretty much live forever if you do that. He also has this disfigurement, which ha gives him this cool mask. He basically styles himself as the second coming of like Jesus, basically like a, uh, a reincarnation of their god of the uh, the purest is what he's called. So kind of a cool start. You have a lot of options here. It's a tough. It's tough though. Like it's not easy. He does have really strong men at arms. Uh, the shields of the north who are quite good but you you do have to consider and he also has a, a few special soldiers as well i can't remember what those ones are specifically but you have to consider that you are going to have to fight with the Sialvoki and Peric, which is going to be tough because they are quite strong they might not and they usually don't come for you right away they usually go down here attack this lad right here so you should be okay for a little while, if you can start like scrounging up some of the Marcher Lords, you should uh, you should have an okay time. But I highly recommend Nicononius. Uh, there's a reason that he's one of the main features or one of the main people that you see on the mod. I even used him on my thumbnail for my God Herzl lore video just because he's so recognizable and he's 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 iconic, really. If I if I dare to say that. Moving way 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 to the east, pretty much at the very corner of the map, we have Grunna Crassalia. Kraken Eater. So this is actually a Sialvoki who is over here in the, I can't actually remember the name of this of this region, um, but they're over here. Sorry, wrong person. They're over here in this land. They basically are part of a group that broke off from Senwar. I believe he's over here. Yes. Crawl Cormag. He's also a cool character if you want to play as him. He's the old dog. He's one-eyed, one-legged, and he's scarred. He's also a berserker. Well, basically, this guy just didn't agree with Senware, and so he sort of left, went over into the Eastern Kingdom, and formed his own clan wreck. And then this girl, Cressalia, she basically was like, you know what? I, I want to keep going. I'm an adventurer. I'm gonna I'm gonna go even further east to find riches for myself. So, a really cool character who you can kind of be unique in this region. There's not a lot of Sialvoki over here. You won't find them. I think she might be the only one. And it's just an interesting spot. And I also believe you do get access to raiding as a Sialvoki. And there's a lot of land here to raid, as you can see. So kind of interesting. I, I recommend her just because it's it's cool. Obviously, you can play as any of the Sialvoki over here in the Empiric or like with the Mad Dog or the Old Dog. I'm sorry. But I don't know. I, I just really like the idea of being like a single adventure out in like new lands and then sort of forging your own destiny. It's kind of, it's a cool start and I highly, highly recommend you giving it a shot. Also, Rog is a funny name for a house. So the third guy I'm going to recommend, and this one also is probably a no-brainer to anybody who knows the lore, and that's Ashrace, the Lord of Ashes of Oriaspol. He just has this little tiny county now. But this is the guy who actually caused the end of the world. He's the one who caused the fog to happen by using blood magic to defeat his rival, Axiothea, who you cannot play as because she's dead. But he's pretty much the strongest mage. He is the strongest remaining mage in the world. As you can see, his blood magic is insanely high. He also has a little bit of fire magic. He's ridiculously strong. He pretty much can live forever. As you can see, he's a murderer and a family kinslayer because he killed his dad. Um, forever ago. He's got a lot of interesting lore. If you want to explore more of that, I would definitely recommend checking out my God Herja lore video. But Ace Race is probably, if so, if you want to try out magic, or if you feel comfortable, I should say, with magic, because it's tough for first-time players to get a feel for this, because he is so small. He starts off with, like, no troops. He just gets, I think, the Home Legion. Yeah, that's it. And then, like, a couple, you know, random knights. So you, you really have to lean into magic if you're going to survive this one. But it, it allows a little more flexible playthrough, a little something unique overplaying as somebody like, you know, Nicononius, where you don't necessarily have to use magic because you could just use his army to like defeat these smaller kingdoms near you. Because I do believe he gets like a Cassus Belly on a couple of these little territories and it makes it pretty easy to expand and hold off the Sialvoki if you if you can manage that. And it's a little different than, you know, obviously playing as like a little adventure, like you are a lord 
So that is what I recommend. I would recommend trying Ace Race. I would click him again, but I can never remember where he's at. So you're just gonna we're just gonna have to deal with it as it is. Next one I recommend is is not necessarily any particular person. It's playing as one of the legions. There's a lot of them. As you can see, this guy's Legion 77, the Pirate Slayers, which is a cool name. But they're they're everywhere. I mean, I think I can click. Yeah, here's one right now too. This is actually a really cool start as well, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use him as my example. Letalgos, Iorajos, Iharos, I don't know how you say it, Iorajos, who, who knows? Anyway, playing as one of the legions is really cool because they all have sort of their own motivations at this point. There's like this lady who wants to restore the empire and like abolish slavery. There's these Axiothea. Uh, this is actually Ace Race's old legion, the guy we just talked about. They uh, converted to uh, his follower, basically. They like worship her as a, not like a deity, but they, you know, they, they, have this like a cult surrounding her and they basically turned against him and kicked him out of his land so that's a that's a cool start but playing as one of the legions is cool because they all have their own like unique motivations you can restore the empire as a military leader which is interesting this guy specifically wants to take over this and then you get a chance to restore the adversarian empire basically just as an island kingdom which is kind of cool you also have a lot of options of taking land along these coasts which is is something that you don't necessarily have if you're really close to the seal or if you're really close to the fog because the fog as far as i know when the fog eater invasion happens in like 1298 they don't i don't think they come over sea so you should be relatively safe over here same with the south like you'd be pretty safe down here but it's a cool start. They, they look cool. Their armor is neat. They get a lot of options. You can marry people and you can invest in arcane. So you could technically be like an arcane legionnaire, which is, I mean, that's just cool. I don't, I, I don't know what else you want from me. I think playing as any of the legions is a good move. In the same vein, um, I'm going to talk about the Agionist orders. There are eight of them in total. If I'm pretty sure there were eight saints. So I would assume that there are eight orders. I actually don't know that for a fact. Somebody's going to correct me in the comments if they know, but playing as one of the orders, these are interesting because technically they're the bad guys they're crusaders that came here for a lot of reasons they basically wanted their own political power they're independent from the empire at this point but at one point they were part of the empire and kind of like trying to come down here and do some shenanigans it's a lot of lore i'm not going to try and explain it but this guy right here he he hates them he is he has made it his goal they killed his wife in fact uh the order of saint callisto's key which i think is right here this guy had his wife killed and so naturally he, you know, he tried to fight back. He was defeated, fell down into the south, was found some some, you know, nomadic tribes down here, used their power to take back a lot of land along this route and now he has, you know, donned himself as the father of the south. He's got 24,000 troops. If you wanted an easy start, him and Senware would definitely be one, but we're not talking about him. We're talking about one of the orders. I specifically choose these guys because out of all of the orders, they're the only ones that aren't like uh, they're not terrible they actually are noble knights whereas the other ones are sort of like you know they're kind of corrupt these guys literally worship an eldritch god uh, a god eyeball so you know there's there is that that is a certainly thing certainly a big thing and as far as i know um in the future there there's a lot of plans for the agionis um in the 1298 start i believe that they're going to be making which is the last canon start in the game so that should be interesting i have no idea what it's going to be i just know they're going to be doing some stuff and they look cool. I mean, even if you don't care the fact that they're like immoral and terrible, like they're unique. They have some interesting flavor. You do start off with this looming threat of Ceridon coming up and kicking you right in the face. But if you can somehow overcome that, uh, there's a lot of land to be had over here. And it's just cool to sort of be playing as a crusading order with, you know, a long history. And you're technically allied to all the other ones anyway. So, you know, you're not alone in this fight. So yeah, I'd recommend one of the Agionis orders. I would recommend the Order of Eos, uh, Eos the Knight. He was one of the eight saints like we talked about earlier. And yeah, that's, that's all I got for that. The next character I'm going to recommend is actually, he's got an interesting story, which is why I picked him. He's not necessarily great in other regards. He's got disputed heritage, and this is the key factor here. So this guy is Asterix the Glorious. He, he claims to be the son of Ace Race and Axiothea, which is impossible because he was born... Uh, obviously in 1220 what 23 so he in 1222 so he was born 22 years after axiothea died which is hilarious however he does have advanced magi so you can definitely lean into some spells which also sort of leads to this disputed heritage like is he actually the son of you know of ace race he does say purity on brown he's got like this little that little blood drop like ace race has in his symbol it's an interesting character to play as you could sort of like you know mess around and say that you're you know you are actually the heir to this to this you know Aranoi I think it's Aranoi Empire yeah this whole empire take it back and then be like oh yeah see I was right 
<laughs> no, I mean, history is written by the victors. So I suppose if you can manage to take this, it won't really matter what your heritage is. So this next start is a, another interesting character over here in Adversaria. He is crazy. I love this guy. Dexios, the glorious of the isles and all the seas of the rightful empire. Oop. He is basically just really angry um, and wants to control everything. He also does have an heir, which is nice that you get to start off with one. Dude, basically, when you read his text, he basically tells everybody to, you know, to die and then he's going to take all their stuff and he wants to form like a sort of sea-based empire. I can't remember what the actual, you know, the kingdom title is, it's interesting. It's hard to say exactly where it is, but it like goes, it goes all along the coast. But he's an, he's just a cool character. I just like how mad he is, and I like that he you have like sort of the opportunity to take a bunch of these islands and kind of make an island empire, island kingdom, if you will. And also, I just love characters that have flavor. He's got a really really funny flavor. And again, magi focus. You could or you could focus on magi if you wanted to. He does also have a nice stewardship plus. At least on this run, I don't know if that's randomized, but you know, in my run, he's got a stewardship plus, so that's always fun. Stewardship is a really really valuable tree. He's kind of similar to the other guy where they, I just like enjoy them. I know there's a lot of adversarians on this list, so I and I apologize for that, but they're they're just really interesting. I, I think that a lot of the love in this mod has gone into like the marchers, the Silvoki, and the adversarians, and we're going to round this out with a marcher, in fact. So my last character that I'm going to recommend in this video, and that by no means that there's not other great ones, because you know Mamur, this guy, he was actually the mentor of this guy, and he broke off from him because he wanted to get rid of the Agionist orders. And he said, no, nah, bro, you got to chill. And he was like, no, nah, fuck that. And then all the other shit that just that happened that I told you about. But uh, we're not going to talk about them. We're going to talk about this marcher lord over here, this marcher duke, Duke Hysanklin. I have no idea how to say that. I don't know if that's right or not. But this guy, so he's interesting. He doesn't care about any of this stuff. Because over here, these are all great starts as well, which I'll just, you know, I'll just randomly select. I don't think I can click him on the map. Where is he? So Rene is a really cool character. I would recommend if you're like a new player because he's very strong and he has a cast of on the entirety of this kingdom. Actually, the empire of Shivali. So it, that's an interesting one because his dad was the high king, uh, which is not a hereditary role, but he wants to restore it for his dad or basically for himself, for his family to like bring back their honor because his dad sort of just peaced out on a quest and never came back. Anyway, this guy, he basically is a little, he's a little sneaky guy. He's got really, really high stewardship. I know this isn't random because this is just what he has. And he wants to create a trade empire. Basically, he's waiting for this king here to die. The king who has 15 children, by the way. And he's like waiting for him to die so that he can sort of take up land and, you know, sort of create new trade routes. He basically wants to create, if I remember right, he uh, the West Royal Trading Company is his duchy title. And I believe he also can get that as a... Uh, kingdom title, which is very cool. You basically can become like a trade master. I wish there was more trade like in the mod itself, but I just like the idea of being somebody who's like, he doesn't really care about all this stuff. He doesn't want to be an emperor necessarily. He just wants to make money. And I'm, and who, who doesn't empathize with that really? You know what I mean? I'm actually going to give you a bonus one here as well. So the Maikrata is a, there. it's basically a school for Magi. Um, they come here and then you have all these tunnels and stuff, which these are wastelands, so there's not a whole lot to the mod at the moment. But if you wanted to play as a already established Magi as well, besides Ace Race, you couldn't, you couldn't hurt to play as an Archmage. There are also Liches you can play as, but you cannot become a Lich. So again, if you wanted to play as like an evil, an evil character of some kind, you can do that over here. There's, you know, they have, they have unique traits as well, like Manipulator and God Hater, which is really cool. But that is going to be it for this one. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video it helps you select new characters. There's a lot of different people in this mod that you can play as. Uh, this doesn't even scratch the surface. There's so many cultures everywhere. There's so many things to do, so many things to see. I just wanted to give you like a basic, like maybe go a little beyond the bookmarks so that you can not only play as interesting characters, but you know, you don't have to scrounge around on the Discord and the Reddit for somebody to answer you because sometimes, you know, you just want to play the game. But that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you, if you haven't seen my God Herja lore video, I highly recommend you go check that out as I put a lot of time in it and I worked with the devs to make it as accurate as reasonably possible without being over long and overly specific. And if you enjoy my content, you can consider becoming a channel member. You can see my channel members right here. I appreciate you all and I appreciate anybody who considers joining. That's it for me. This has been a God Herja interesting starts video. Maybe not the last one, but definitely the first one. And I will happily see you in the next one.